Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Last week we covered the events leading up to the capture of Bhai Mani Singh Ji. We heard how a peace treaty was arranged to allow the Deep Mala Jorda Mela to take place under the condition of 10,000 rupees in tax to be given to the regime. Just days before the planned gathering, the Mughal regime decided that actually this would be the perfect chance to finish Sikhi and arranged an ambush which Bhai Mani Singh Ji found out about. Bhai Mani Singh Ji sacrificed himself to protect the Sangat. Letters were sent out to Sangat telling them not to come to Amritsar Sahib. The Samagam was cancelled and Bhai Mani Singh Ji refused to give any tax to the Mughal regime. Lakhpat Rai was sent to arrest Bhai Mani Singh Ji, who was then brought to the court of Zakaria Khan in Lahore. There, Bhai Mani Singh Ji was given two options to avoid being sentenced to death. First, to pay the tax which Bhai Mani Singh Ji refused. Why should we give you even a single penny? You were going to attack us, ambush us. And our Ittaha states that the second option was to convert to Islam and live a life in peace and luxury. When hearing this, Bhai Mani Singh Ji just laughed and smiled. He said, Zakriya, have you ever heard of a Sikh of the Guru who has given up their, their Sikhi, their life, who has converted to save their life? If you haven't heard this happen in the past, then why do you think it will happen now? Bhai Mani Singh Ji responded in such an inspiring way. Khan kahyo ho musliman, tad chhodenge tumri jaan. Singhan kahyo ham siddhik na haare, kai janam par siddhik sogaare. That this body will come and go again and again. However, being blessed with Sikhi, that's not guaranteed. That Sikhi that saves us from the Chirasi Lakajun, that Sikhi that is more beloved and precious than my body, I would rather give up countless of my janams than to sacrifice my Sikhi. Sir Jave Ta Jave, Sikhi Siddhik Na Jave. Tan Guru Ka Pyara, Tan Pai Mani Singh Ji. We give up our Sikhi so cheaply, some cut their case just for a job to impress others. We break our rahat to fit into Western society. How great was Bhai Mani Singh Ji, who when being told that he would be cut limb by limb, still kept his Sikhi. Bhai Mani Singh Ji said that both of these options are not accepted. And did an Ardas Binti, Kehi Maharaj, my life is spent in the service of you. Don't let my body die off in a normal way. May my Sarir also be of use when dying. May I give my Sarir so that my blood becomes the water for this plant of Sikhi so that it grows greener and stronger. This was the great Ardas, the thinking and dedication of Bhai Mani Singh Ji. And this is the great thinking of Gursikh till this day. Nawab Zakriya Khan was enraged hearing this response. Tab Nawab no yo furmayo band band ar juda karayo Chandalan Singh turt fadaya Nikhas chonk ke vich bahaya Zakriya Khan ordered by Mani Singh Ji to be executed at Nikhas chonk in Lahore and this should be a place that we should all know about. A place where countless of our ancestors were shaheed. This is the same place that Bhai Taru Singh Ji's scalp was removed here as well and we'll cover this Sakhi in later episodes. Countless were Shaheed here and there is a Shaheed Ganj still there today that we should all try to visit and pay our respects. There used to be a Masid but Bhai Singh's in the past demolished it and built a Gurdara Sahib in its place. Public executions were done here as it was a busy location open to the public to watch, acting as a deterrent a warning for the public not to mess with the regime. First, some of Bhai Mani Singh Ji's students and family were made shaheed. One was hung upside down and had his skin peeled off in front of Bhai Mani Singh Ji in an attempt to scare Bhai Sab to change his mind. Then a wooden slate was placed on the ground. Guards were set up around the junk. Lahore started to panic hearing about this public execution. Thousands of locals came to have darshan of Tan Pai Mani Singh Ji. And what did they see when they get there? They see this great saint, beautiful long white dara, the face shining with so much pratap, aura, sitting cross-legged, eyes closed in complete peace and samadhi, reciting Gurbani. One source states that Pai Mani Singh Ji was reciting Siri Sukhmani Sahib off by heart during the execution. Others state it was Siri Japaji Sahib. 
Bhai Mani Singh Ji was now going to show the world what the avastha of Bade Mukt is. Jindal band tab char bataye, baha tanga karo judaye, tab hai Mani Singh unso kahi, tum band band ko janat nahi. The executioner was instructed to cut each of the limbs of Bhai Mani Singh Ji, but decided to cut four limbs, two arms and two legs, and that would be enough. But the executioner had no idea what was going to happen next. To everyone's shock, Tan Pai Mani Singh Ji stopped the executioner. He said, Ke Pyari Jalad, look at the wording still in the face of death, Pai Mani Singh Ji is smiling, they're speaking with love. They say, Ke, you do not know what Band Band means. Listen to your Malik, start from my finger, my first ang, the tip of my finger. Seeing this look of horror and shock, on the face of the executioner, Tanapai Mani Singh Ji explained that band band means each and every limb. He said, okay, I will tell you where to cut. I will place the ang on the wooden slate and you will cut it with my instructions, says Tanapai Mani Singh Ji. They start off with the tip of the finger, three cuts in one finger, two in the thumb, around 15 cuts in the hand, then the wrist, and then Sangha Ji, the executioner, panicking, witnessing this miracle, then cut the elbow and then remove the shoulder. The executioner was shocked. Never had he witnessed such a show of bravery, such a miracle that was sitting in front of him. Altogether, about 18 ungs cut from one arm and then it was on to the second arm. There are screams from the public gathered, tears in everyone's eyes. There was this Muslim fakir in the crowd who went crazy, saying that this is Qudra, this is God himself. Many people in the crowd fainted, they couldn't watch what was happening. They were shocked at such a pap that was happening. The saint who had never wronged anyone was now being cut limb by limb. In this way, by Mani Singh Ji, every one of his limbs was removed, one by one, both arms and legs. And the amazing thing is, Sangaji, that Gurbani can still be heard from the lips of Bhai Mani Singh Ji. When doing our part, we lose our concentration very easily. But Bhai Mani Singh Ji is completely still. They did not even move a muscle while being cut. They continued reciting and concentrating on Bani of our Guru. Bhai Ratan Singh Ji states that Bhai Mani Singh Ji was at the 14th Astapadi of Sukhmani Sahib, Nahakit Janama, Nahakit Mara, when they were finally beheaded. Gyanigyan Gyan Singh states that it was at the Sodar Keha Pauri of Japaji Sahib. And so there's a variation in our Itahas, but importantly, they both state, Saad Sangaji, that the remaining words of the Gurbani, of the part, continued from the beheaded by Mani Singh Ji. And only at the bog of the part, at the end of the part, after saying, Vai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guruji Ki Fateh, did Tan Pai Mani Singh Ji go silent and joined the never-ending list of great shaheeds. The date was Magar Sudhi Panj in the year 1738 at Nikas Jong, where Hai Hai could be heard by everyone in Lahore crying out. But Gursikhs were saying, Jai Jai, Tan Hai, Tan Hai, Tan Guru Ka Pyara, blessed is the shaheed who will be remembered forever, who will receive the Shromani seat in Sachikhand. And even till this day, we remember Pai Mani Singh Ji and the countless Ardasa that are done at Gurdara Sahibs across the world every day. So Pai Mani Singh gave the ultimate Qurbani. He saved the Singhs by warning them and instead took on the consequence himself. Pai Mani Singh Ji upheld the Maryadda of celebrating our Jod Mele. They show us the importance of our Maryadda. They highlight the utmost respect we should have for the Sangat. And finally, they show us how precious the Sikhi is that we've been blessed with. That a Sikh would rather be cut limb by limb than give up his gaze. His Sikhi. And how amazing our Guru is. If you have faith and love for your Guru, that body, even after being cut into tiny parts, can recite Gurbani. In respect of Shahid Pai Mani Singh Ji, Pai Ratan Singh Ji says the following. Pai Mani Singh Ji is the greatest and highest Sikh of the Guru, the Pagat of all Pagats. Sikhi ki neai kehiye pai mani singh ji. They are the foundation of Sikhi, our shaheeds, of our itahas. Jagat mein jaykar payo tarma arth de dayo. The whole world sing the praise of pai mani singh ji, who gave everything for his guru. And that's true every day in Ardas, every Diwali, each year there will be a katha of pai mani singh ji. We remember their sacrifice. Siddhik sokatayo hiyo namani kachu sankh ji. 
who even getting cut ang ang did not fear or doubt in his sikhi. Sikha so prasanna pae, doshta sabha prishta pae, whose shahidi will cause the destruction of all enemies and cause happiness within the Guru Sikh. Gyan ki khadgaso so mari chao rang ji. Bhai Mani Singh ji destroyed evil with the sword of Gyan by spreading Sikhi far and wide. Jo gur Sikh kahave so karni yeh kamave. Someone who can truly call himself the Sikh of the Guru. Such a great jeevan of Bhai Mani Singh ji. Mani Singh ji ke tol payo ko rana au na rang ji. From the poor to the rich, there will never be anyone equal in sacrifice. To Pai Mani Singh Ji. This is our great history. Even till this day in Lahore, there is a Shaheed Ganj, Pai Mani Singh Ji, where we can pay our respects. Now, everyone at that time was doing Ardasa to finish this regime. All saints, all fakirs, all, all religions started saying that the time is up for this Mughal regime, that this was now the limit, killing such a great saint. Ardasa of the world reached the court of Vaheguru. And now Zakriya Khan will face a force in the form of Nadir Shah that will attack and cause destruction in the Mughal regime. Zakriya will now reap what he sowed, which we will cover in the next episode. May Guru Sahib do kirpa on us so that Sikhi ke sa swasa tak nib jave. Please forgive me for my mistakes. Lekha kata na shuti hai kin kin pulan har baksan har baksada nanak par utar. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru ji ki fateh. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video to spread the message of Sikhi. Make your dasvan safala and donate so we can create more content like this. The link is in the description below.